Whether you're dipping or putting it on a sandwich, we all have our favorite condiments. Yes, and there has been a little bit some heated debate in the newsroom <laughs> on what heated. qualifies as a condiment. Yes. And for many, it's not uncommon to combine favorites, which I like to keep mine separately. Yeah, these days, one food company is doing the mixing for you. So ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Voles is here to talk about the new Heinz flavor mashups. And Brie, Oof. I'm a little I know. skeptical about this. I know, and you have a reason to be. I okay. feel like you have a reason to be, okay. but some people like it. Last year, Heinz debuted its mayo chup sauce, which is a mix of ketchup and mayonnaise. The condiment stirred up some controversy online. Many posted about how they demanded it be put on shelves right away, while others were <laughs> outspokenly opposed. <laughs> but apparently mixing two condiments together has proven to be successful. So successful that Heinz is rolling out mayo Q, which is, you guessed it, mayonnaise mixed with barbecue sauce. Okay. And mayo must is mayo with mustard. Mayo Q and Mayo Must will hit some grocery stores shelves this month, and many people are sounding off on our Facebook page about <laughs> these flavors. You know, it's a mixed reaction, pun intended. Uh -huh. Yes, for those that are <laughs> against these flavors, look at it this way. You can make more room in your fridge with the elimination of bottles. I know, Candace, you're against them, but... Yeah, I, I, I like to keep them separate. Well, since it's mixing mayonnaise, I was imagining like ketchup mixed with ranch, and that's what I was imagining. Okay. But, you know, mayonnaise is kind of mild, and it kind of like flows together anyway. I, I, I can do the ketchup and the mayonnaise, but I, mayonnaise and barbecue sauce, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I can't, I cannot get behind that. Okay. Yeah. And the mayo must, we must all try it. But I don't <laughs> know that mayo belongs with mustard. I can do ketchup and mustard, and I can do ketchup and mayo, but mayo must not be with mustard. Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. just my thing. I'm writing your notes before I make your sandwich mm -hmm. later. Right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll take you up on that one. There happens, though, to be a Heinz brand enthusiast here at News 6. What? Yes. yes. We asked James Barbero what he thought about the new flavor combos. <laughs> James is Pittsburgh born and raised, and we all know how much they love their Heinz. We sure do. He tells us personally he's a purist and prefers mm. to apply his condiments separately. My this man. is very important information that you need to know. It's all about that ratio. Yeah. So, Heinz asked us which flavor mashup you're most excited for, and we've posted that tweet poll in our web story on clickorlando.com. If you like it, we want to know. Maybe we're knocking it because we haven't tried it. But, yeah. you know, they could have nailed the ratio, and we'll never have to buy two separate condiments again. Right. So they're we'll professionals, so yes, they know true. what they're doing. That's true. <laughs> I don't know if anyone remembers, but back in 2000, there was a purple and green ketchup. Does anyone I don't. remember this? Okay, and on that note... It didn't no. do very well, as you can tell. I could imagine it didn't do very well. I tried the well. purple. It mm. tastes like normal ketchup. It was just weird dipping your french like, fries mm. in purple. Just extra food coloring. For what? what? Was it for a holiday? It was, just for, it's, yeah. it was 2000. Okay, Good well, luck. I'm glad we left that there. Let's not All bring right. that back. <laughs>